Hey everybody, Cody here. Uh, I've never really done a review video per se, but um, I felt this called for one. Uh, there's this band I love, whom I'm sure I'm sure if you're watching this video you love them too. Um, they're called The Music. Um, not a very Googleable name. That might have been what hurt them in the long run. Uh, success wise but uh, that's not what this video is about this video is about um, this collection right here The Last Dance Live um, not really a mainstream release uh, it was released by Concert Live Promotions uh, it's a bit expensive too but if you're a massive fan of the music who are a four piece collective were I should say a four piece collective from Leeds, England, um, then you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna want to get this if you're a hardcore fan, or, or even if you're just getting into them and you want to see how good they are live, because let me tell you, they are good live. They're one of the best live bands I've ever seen, and I've never even seen them in person. Uh, I'm an American fan. I think they toured once here with Kasabian, and I didn't know of, of either band at that point in my life. I was like 15 and yeah I missed out on a great opportunity because over the last few years I've gotten really into the music. Um, they're, they might even be my favorite band at this point. Uh, I listen to them so much and uh, as I was saying I've never seen them live in person but I've seen their uh, all the various live videos on YouTube and then I've immediately went out and bought uh, Live at the Blank Canvas from 2003, I believe, uh, which caught the band in their more primal stage. Uh, I think it was their homecoming gig following the release of their debut, which is a classic in my opinion. Go out and buy it, along with their other albums. And then uh, my favorite live DVD of theirs, Welcome to Japan, which was for the uh, I think 2005 tour of uh, well for Welcome to the North, which was their sophomore effort. Um, that's definitely my favorite live DVD. Uh, it's just amazing, just flat out amazing. I don't even understand how a band can get a live sound like that. To be honest, uh, it just floors me every time. My my mouth is gaping wide open at the end of it. Um, but yeah, they had those and uh, I was a bit surprised after they broke up, as you may or may not know. Hopefully if you're a big enough fan to be watching this video, you know of their demise. And um, yeah, they uh, this release, The Last Dance Live, was actually, it actually documents their last two I believe the last two shows um, at the O2 Academy or something like that. I, like, as I'm sure you know, I'm an American fan. I, I don't know much about their origins, really. Uh, I've never been to England. I don't know much about that. I just listen to the music and I love every song they've released. And uh, yeah, so I don't know much about their homeland or anything, like in terms of. If that's even a famous venue or what have you but uh it they played to a sold out crowd i believe at the leeds academy for this live dvd which is what i should probably get to four minutes in i mean that's what it's all about um it uh, try not to lose my train of thought here, but uh, there's just a few things I want to cover about it, and it's hard to even sum up something this good. Um, after Strength in Numbers, their third uh, official LP, I, I was hoping that they would have another live DVD release to document their Strength in Numbers live era, you know, when Rob had shaved his head and all that, and 
uh, they, they were a different band almost, and I, I just, I always hoped that they would release something that would show that, that side of them, that dynamic, uh, because, you know, you have Blank Canvas, which uh, really shows how they were when they were younger, when they were starting out, uh, the way they sounded for the release of their debut, and then you had Welcome to Japan, which, uh, like I said, in my opinion, that's when they had perfected their live sound, and they were really at their peak, and it showed a maturity, and they uh, s smoothed out all the all the rough edges, uh, and delivered something great there. Sorry, I heard a noise. Anyways, yeah, this one, uh, Last Dance, it uh, really caught me by surprise when they announced that they were releasing it because, you know, the band had broken up. Uh, they announced the final string of dates, and uh, I, we all figured that was it. You know, they have a small and loyal following, but they're uh, that's probably one of the reasons they broke up uh, is that they there wasn't much of a mainstream demand for them even though they're mind-blowing I don't understand I can't even conceive how they didn't blow up not only in the UK but in America as well I think they had like one charting song here like a low position on a on the alternative charts but uh yeah I was just you know surprised that they even released it but boy was I glad um, product is last dance see there's you got a folds open like this and you got your two three discs one is the encore disc um, if you got if you got the collection at the concert, which unfortunately I wasn't able to attend, uh, you had to download the encore performance from the band later on when you got home and burn it to a disc yourself because they had to stop recording so they'd have time to dish, hand out all the all the CDs to the people who pre-ordered them and got them at the show, but me, being somebody who's never seen them live and unfortunately didn't get the chance to for their final gig, um, had to just order it online straight from Concert Live uh, following and uh, so so the encore was already burnt onto a disc but uh, anyways I'm just going off on other things let's get to the meat of it is that even a saying? anyways <laughs> uh, uh, the, ac the actual song collection it's more of a greatest hits uh, set list that they performed I know a lot of people were wanting to hear some rarities, some B-sides, because they are a great B-side band. Uh, Dragon Song, uh, Karma, I know those are two that were heavily requested, but, you know, they stuck to highlights from mainly the f the first album and then Strength in Numbers. I think they only did three Welcome to the North songs, which is a bit of a disappointment, because that might actually be my favorite album of theirs, but... Uh, you know, they did the dance, take the long road and walk it, truth is no words, all sounding amazing. Um, then they did, they do the spike, strength in numbers, you know, all the main songs from that album. Uh, I want to say it, they focused mainly on, on the debut because I think a lot of the hardcore fans uh, prefer that album. Uh, it's not my favorite, but I can see why uh, uh, that it would, they would produce a, a more euphoric live sound and get the crowd really pumped and going for uh, in that kind of setting, especially it being their final show ever. Hopefully not, but that's what it's billed as. Anyways, um, go out and get it. It's a little expensive. Uh, maybe the price is a little has been reduced since then, but if you're a true fan of the band, this is a must-have. Uh, like I said, I don't think it's as good as Welcome to Japan, but it's definitely um, essential to your collection if you if they're even in your top ten favorite bands, which hopefully they are, because they're amazing. Uh, 
the live sound of the CD could be better. They, you know, for the price, you'd expect uh, the recording to be a little bit more professional, but it sounds like a, you know, upper quality bootleg. Uh, the Brixton recording, uh, let me make sure I tell you this before I go, uh, the Brixton uh, recording, which was not the show that was filmed for the live DVD, that was the, uh, the Leeds Academy uh, concert. Uh, the Brixton one, uh, I, if you're a hardcore fan like me, it's, it, you're gonna wanna have it, but if you, if you can only afford to or just want one, uh, definitely go for the Leeds, uh, music CD, uh, before you go jump for the Brixton one, because, uh, it, the sound is a lot more crisp and clear. Uh, I know the Brixton one, when I was listening to it, I was thinking, where is the guitar? It's so drowned out. Uh, it's underneath the bass and the drums and the vocals that it's it's almost pointless to listen to it. It doesn't really do the band justice. Uh, plus, the actual performance was better. The final night, the, the audio that is from the the DVDs con uh, show. Like I said, this is the first time I've done one of these videos, so I'm not that great at talking fluently and consistently, uh, but I just, I know this is going to be the only review video for this package on YouTube or anywhere, really. I haven't seen a review of it anywhere, even in just printed. Uh, but yeah, I just um, I I uploaded some of the actual uh, videos from the disc from the DVD. Uh, just go to my channel and uh, the Last Dance. Uh, I, I didn't put all of them up there because I still want people to uh, have a reason, have incentive to go out and actually buy it. Other than the fact that you know the ones I uploaded are pretty shitty quality, and you're gonna want this this bad boy and. Uh, in the official amazing quality that it is but uh... yeah just go out and get it because the music are um, absolutely monstrous live and if you're a fan or just even a casual listener uh... get this because it might turn you into a huge fan of the music and unfortunately they're no longer around but uh, this is something that you'll cherish, hopefully.